Okay, so we're going to do a um, singing lesson. Let's see how this goes. We're starting with some vocalizes and we start with Bocacusa. And it's important to not make any sound, any noise when you read in and all that. Be relaxed here. Bocacusa. <laughs> a bit in the back and the whole purpose of this is already we want to place the voice on the top here we want the voce in mascara so come on better so i'm looking at the mouth that is pretty much like this and the whole thing bel canto is also you know you pull up the cheeks and you create actually space up in the palate you have to pull your palate up so it's not only to look good and look like you're smiling you're creating this space that is crucial also for the harmonies in your voice and you will hear the difference later when she goes into real singing don't give me that tired mouth give me the right position right away i still feel that i was having too much fun the other day when i was touching into lakme and constanza already i feel like it's tickling that's there. good it's that's how it, it's very funny feeling yeah, it's you can do a bit, uh, a couple of higher ones. One more time, that one. Oh. The Bible of Bel Canto singing. 1833, Nicola Vacai wrote this Metodo Gratico di Canto, a practice me uh, practical method of singing. He called it a book for amateurs, dilettanti. So amongst the amateurs who use this to learn to sing the Belcanto technique, we find Maria Callas and several others. Amongst them was my singing teacher, Aida Menigelli. She had the same singing teacher as Maria Callas, the very famous soprano Elvira del Dalgo. So it was very... Okay, let's go for some picchiettata, legato and picchiettata. There's any coloratura knows they need to know how to do this. <laughs> <laughs> the second picket out that was a bit d disappearing. Okay. And it, you know when you do piccatata, it's like when you do all these agility things, when you do the arias, it's like to have it up here and have it like really light. It, you don't want to do it again? As you don't sound like you try to push more breath up because you, the contrary you're using less and you know you have more control This opera singing will touch barely that one in one in the in the doll area. Yeah, it sounds really cool. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, in one of your re earlier recordings, you actually hold an A for like ten seconds. Oh, so I have done an A before. Yeah. No, maybe I think it was an A flat in one of your songs. Wait, wait, what? Yeah, that was a very perfect A. Okay, let's try one more. Let's <laughs> take it. B, we are like now we are two notes from, high C. from the C7 which you have done on recording before or, or in the video do you want to go up further Let's or try it I'm I curious. thought today is actually about you know showing you singing some arias and stuff I want to try okay don't strain yourself okay read properly that's a B let's start with the last one just for can you please not make a sound when you, when you breathe in because okay. that would be even easier for you. This is nothing for you. I think you touched it. I think I touched it. I think you touched it, but it <laughs> might have been. I, I know you have done it before, but you know, this is the, the eternal discussion. It's very hard to double check this. I will do it on the phone. I think you touched it, but this was absolutely clean. Should I try one more time? No, we're going down. This is not about you showing up. It's, it's, <laughs> it's important to have fun when you have singing lessons. First. Okay, that was like a scream. And remember, you place your voice from the top, always from above. You, you play 
increase it from the first note, even though this is like a lower C, you do that and don't give me lots of breath when you reach the high because this is not even high. <laughs> and have the space here. And now I can talk a little about the Belcanto singing. It's, it's a lot about the breathing technique. It's the, you breathe with the diaphragm, you need to have this thing going up here, you breathe here, and you're trying to not let this disappear. You know, you just keep the breath there and you push it up here and with the muscles on the side and on the hip. And that's the whole thing. And you also need to try to create the sound in muscura, which means up here. This is a head voice kind of thing. It's not a chest voice kind of thing to sing. You're doing really well. Uh, you have applied this technique to so many different styles, and now we are finally working on your repertory. Finally, yeah. One thing that's crucial when you want to learn to sing is that you actually want to learn to sing. That you're, <laughs> <laughs> that you're not a reluctant singing stu student like she was the first two years, because that was quite awful. Yeah. But then you fell in love with singing, right? Mm -hmm. Anything you want to say to people who want to learn to sing? No, I agree with everything you said, actually. <laughs> it's exactly the same thing. I mean, I would, the only thing I would add is that uh, it is an idea to put heavy books on your stomach when you're learning how to do breathing exercises because then you feel the resistance. Anything that can help you to feel the breath and, and feel what you might be doing wrong is a good idea. That's why using a bottle with like a uh, tube in it yeah. to like breathe in, it's also a good idea because then you feel the resistance of the water because if your bubbles are splashing all over the place and then you're doing it wrong, you're supposed to be even. So any small tricks like that are actually big tricks because that makes you aware and being aware of your breathing can be very difficult when just singing. So to have any kind of resistance then all of a sudden you actually you feel it and then you know and you go, oh that's what she's talking about. Yeah, but it, it is uh, extremely important. What I used to do, I lived on the sixth floor and since I took singing lessons six days a week and we moved into the center of Verona in Italy and lived next door to my singing teacher, 
on the sixth floor and instead of taking the elevator I would run two and two steps at a time up to ten times a day every time I've been outside whatever just to have the endurance to be able to do five six seven arias on the coloratura level in each concert so to be physically fit to have endurance to have a good breathing technique is really important mm -hmm. but you can also just learn this technique to do any other music style you applied it to metal the first yeah. years and you were a judge and a mm -hmm. coach uh, on a big TV program in the genre heavy metal because of this, because you have the experience from there as well. So you can apply to any genre you want. I think it's probably the best foundation you can have or base you can have in terms of singing because then you have this very strong, uh, this strong, like if you're building a house, you know, the fundament is really you strong. Have a strong. And then foundation. you can build whatever type of house you want on top of it. And, and also, it's hard to be in a bad mood when you sing. When you sing, you have to be happy. 